We are up in the mountains in Norway. We are at a place called Valdresflia. It's approximately 1400 meters above sea level. Uh, today we're going to do some uh, testing with MBOT and LTM, the new uh, low power uh, cellular technologies. Uh, so we're going to do some testing with the uh, base stations, base station that is in the in the cloud on the mountain peak over there. Uh, we're going to drive up to it and then every kilometer away from it we're going to sample some parameters uh, where we want to compare how uh, LTM and MBOT behave uh, differently when uh, we, uh, we increase the distance from the base station. So there's four things we're going to, to, uh, to sample. We're going to sample the, the received signal strength, the output power, uh, the modulation and uh, if we are using repetitions or not. In this test, we used a standard NRF9160 DK. We have gotten a SIM card from Telnor, so we connected to the Telnor network on both LTM and MBOT. We tested in an area where there is a mountain peak with a base station on top, and from it goes a straight road. We started 3 kilometers away from the base station and sampled the parameters, then moved one more kilometer away and sampled again. We repeated this until we lost the connection. And then we did this for both LTM and MBIoT. We expected to get better results and longer range on MBIoT, mainly because of the smaller bandwidth it has compared to LTM. For LTM modulation, we expected to see 16 QAM being used closer to the base station and QPSK further away. Similarly for QPSK and BPSK for MBIoT in uplink. Now we're testing LTM to see how, uh, what kind of uh, measurements we can do, do on uh, that technology. And the thing here is that uh, for, the, for the received signal strength, uh, the, the base station has uh, constant output power. Uh, so then we can see that this is getting uh, less and less. Uh, for the output power, modulation and repetition, this will change dynamically depending on how far we, we are from the from the base station and this is actually dictated by the base station what kind of upper power, modulation and repetitions we have to use to, to uh, be able to uh, maintain the signal. Uh, so the base station is uh, up there. Uh, we just concluded our LTM test from BT Horn to here. It's about uh, 10, 12 kilometers. 12, more than 12, yeah. More than 12. Mm. Now we going to go back and uh, go to the same uh, distances and then uh, get the same measurements on, on MBIoT. We have been uh, testing with both uh, LTM and uh, MBIoT. Uh, with MBIoT we saw that uh, the signal strength was, uh, was better uh, all the way and actually when we kind of uh, went over the tipping point because of the landscape here and we got some uh, uh, mountain in between us and the base station we saw that we were actually able to keep the connection with MBOT while with LTM it, it, it just uh, broke off. This graph shows the measured output power and received signal strength for LTM. The output power is on the left axis and the RSRP representing the received signal strength is on the right. The bottom axis shows the kilometers from the base station, from 3 to 12. There is also a table showing the actual measurements. Close to the base station, at 3 kilometers, the output power is low, only 4 dBm. Further away, it increases up to 23 dBm, which is the maximum. The RSRP goes the other way, being minus 86 dBm close to the base station, and then decreasing down to minus 117 dBm. We lost the connection somewhere between 12 and 13 kilometers. This is a table showing all the results for LTM, including modulation and repetitions. From 3 up to 9, 10 kilometers, 16 QAM modulation was mostly used in uplink, before QPSK took over. For downlink, only QPSK modulation was used, a bit unexpected, but it is normal and can happen. When it comes to repetitions, 8 repetitions were used in downlink after 10 km, while 16 repetitions were used in uplink after 11 km. It is impressive to see how the parameters adapt to never use more energy than necessary. We set out to compare LTM with MBOT in this test, but due to an error 
When executing the test, we did not end up with MBOT data 2% in this format. But in general, we saw that we had a better RSRP when testing MBOT, and we kept the connection 14 kilometers away from the base station. We are happy with the results. 12 to 14 kilometers is impressive, especially when keeping in mind that these are low power technologies. It is also important to remember that in most cases, there will be a closer base station to connect to before reaching this distance.